in Microsoft Excel how we can find the invalid or wrong entries in our data. Let's say in this table in which we have employee names, employee ID, sales, commission percentage and commission. Let's say from this employee names we want to find out if there is any mistake or invalid entry. If we want to find out what we need to do, we need to select all the employee names that we want to check. We need to go to the data tab. In data tab, we need to go to the data validation. In data validation list, we need to choose from this drop down list. list. In source, we will select the original data against which we want to compare this data. So this is the original list of employee names. I will select this full list. Then I will go for OK. Again, I need to go to the data tab. In data tab, I will go to the data validation. Now this time I need to go to the circle invalid data. If I click on this, you will see that wherever we have invalid entry or wrong name of employee, the employee name is encircled. If we check this here, we have name Sophia Alexander. And in this list, we have her name Sophia Alexander. We will notice that spelling of Sophia are wrong. Similarly, here we have Michael John, here we have Michael John. Again here, name of Michael John. In Michael, we have wrong spelling here and here we have different spelling. Similarly, for Channing Harvey, here we have different spelling for the word Channing and here we have different spelling for the word Channing. If let's say we correct this spelling, you will see that we will not have these encircled lines. You can see wherever I correct the spelling, the encircled lines disappear. Let's say again, I will go to the data tab and I will go data validation and I will select circle invalid data. You can see there is no encircle. That's meaning we have correct data or there is no invalid or wrong data in this list. So friends, I hope you find this information useful. If you find this information useful, please don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials and don't forget to press bell icon button.